what I'm finding is there are a lot of women who want to lead with their accomplishments, want to be valued for the kind of car they drive, the kind of home they have, the kind of resources they as wo a woman can bring to the table for a man. But the top tier men that these women want, these provider men, $10,000 a month, uh, $100,000 or more a year, six figure men, those men don't look at those accomplishments in the dating sense. Those accomplishments are great for a personal uh, achievement. Those accomplishments don't help you in the dating arena, getting married arena, uh, long-term commitment from the kind of man that you want arena, ladies. So when you say, well, I drive this kind of car and I have this kind of home, so this is what I bring to the table, uh, most men don't care about all of that. Your PhD, the, the, your, your accolades in education, if a man is making $100,000 a month, he wants a woman that's on his program, fits his program, and wants to do what he wants and his purpose. She's going to follow him. She's going to be, uh, I know women get ticked off with the, you know, I'm not following behind him. I'm walking side by side. You don't say that to your boss at work. Your boss at work is the CEO or the whoever your boss is. They give you a directive and you have to, you know, follow your job description. So if you can do that in the work world, you can do it in your love life and your marriage. A lot of women are getting that confused. They, they confuse attention from regular men as the kind of attention that a man would want for a long term commitment. And it ends up being frivolous sex. There are many women out here who have had frivolous sex and meaningless sex for the sake of pleasure and then wonder why your body count is 50, 60, 100 and you're 40 years old and no one ever asks you to be engaged or, or get married. So these are key issues that I'm discussing. I'm not trying to put anyone down. I've been thinking these things and saying these things for years, but they go in one ear and come out the other for so many women. Men understand it because men are the ones that choose the woman that they want to live the rest of their life with for different reasons. Different reasons than women allow themselves to be married to certain men. So think about that. And I'm going to be honest with you. Let me stop this.